Every single woman in this world has at some point in her life felt unsafe just walking down the streets. Safety is a fundamental human right and shouldn't be considered a luxury for women. Technology today is taking us places so much so that we are thinking of building colonies on Mars. However, something as basic as women's safety still remains an issue. Billionaires Anu and Naveen Jain have taken it upon themselves to find that right kind of technology that you can wear and call for help in a crisis situation under 90 seconds or less. We're outside United Nations headquarters here in New York City, where they're going to award a very special prize. I'm Naveen Jain. I'm Anu Jain. We're entrepreneurs and we're very excited to have launched a $1 million prize for women's safety. Imagine if there was a small device that could be anywhere on women's body rather than a cell phone which everyone knows can be taken away. This could be in your earring, it could be anywhere on the clothes as a button. And this device could be triggered at any moment of time. And at the end of the day, as long as the device is there, it's quite likely to be a deterrent for anyone who is actually even thinking about attacking a woman. It was in the morning, I just took my daughter to her school and on my way back, a stranger attacked me with a knife. He stabbed me nine times. I was seriously injured. What saved my life was a call for help. I cried and then the neighbor heard my cry. I understand how important the call for help is. Sexual assaults in and around the camp. The rapes continue unabated. One in three women have been assaulted. In the US, one out of five women on college campuses have been assaulted, and 90% of them don't even report the assault. Every day in the news, there is something about a woman being assaulted. Over 80% of women are now saying that this is a problem they face, so it's really a global epidemic. In today's world, with innovation and technology, we can really tackle any problem that's out there. I mean, I grew up, um, you know, I was a UN child, grew up in Israel and the surrounding countries. And regardless of which country I was in, it, you know, safety was a problem, being a girl and traveling alone. Um, so that, you know, even after coming to the United States, coming to college here, I discovered that, oh my God, you know, it's, it, women's safety is a global problem. It's not just a developing country problem. And as Naveen said, you know, us having two sons and a daughter, I always had to tell my daughter, you know, that it's not safe for you to be out this time. You need to be careful. So it just infuriated me, you know, that why does she have to deal with this and the boys don't? Uh, but I think in the U.S., I mean, well, every woman I know, I mean, I grew up here, I went to college here, and sexual assault was a huge problem when we were in college. And I, we used to have, you know, I went to Stanford, and there was a part of campus that was called Scary Path because it was unlit, and women would walk through it alone, and they felt unsafe and alone. And that's at one of the top universities in America. So if we can bring this technology, even just here, to let women feel like they have a community and that they feel safe, is so powerful. I mean, my mom made me wear them for a while, and I mean, what's amazing is that they're all so unintrusive. They work exactly the way that you need them to work, and it's so easy to set up and use and make a part of your daily life. Why is women's safety such an issue even today? We're sitting in, we're, we're in 2018 right now. It's a huge issue that I saw firsthand up close and personal after spending nearly 30 years in the FBI. I worked around the world, and so my time in Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa, and Africa, all of Africa, frankly, gave me a front row seat to the status of women. I saw how women were treated. I saw how few women colleagues I had as counterparts. And I realized that there was so much more to be done. And when you're talking about countries even in Europe where I had no women as counterparts, I thought there must be more. And, and the safety issue was huge. And an X Prize is a is a special realization of the future. It takes a passionate philanthropist or company who says, I'm tired of this problem, who says, I refuse to allow this to continue further, and sets an objective measurable goal, and then says, I don't care who you are, where you went to school, what you've ever done. If you solve this problem, you win. And the entire world benefits alongside. So as a philanthropist, there is no better way for us to use our philanthropic dollars to say that we only pay the money when we actually have a solution. 
and solutions we have. So I'm just so excited. You know, this is a really a big step forward right. for some immediate action um, with so much technology and everything. You know, every day we use technology. So why haven't we used it to find a solution for this? After launching the prize, we had 85 teams register from 18 countries. It was an amazing journey to see how an incentive prize motivated and drew so many people from around the world to find a solution. The teams worked tirelessly and passionately to find a solution. I am so proud and thankful to all the teams who participated and especially to the five teams who are here today, as well as some of the judges who have flown from all over to join us. We live in a world today where every part of our life has technology, yet we don't have a solution for women's safety. Once a girl is safe, she will be able to get an education, have access to healthcare, be able to find a job, and all the opportunities will be open to her. In today's world with innovation and technology, we can really tackle any problem that's out there. So that's why Naveen and I launched this Women's Safety X Prize. The winner of this is not just the teams. The winner is going to be we as humanity have finally taken a step to say we are not going to leave anyone behind. How are we going to go to the moon or Mars when half of the population can't even walk safely to their car? Before we announce the winner, what I was going to say was that two of the families here in this room were so inspired to see what was going on. One is my little brother, my younger brother, why don't you stand up, who decided that it doesn't matter who wins, he's going to give the $100,000 uh, divided between the four teams that do not win. Prize-driven innovation is a phenomenal approach. And the fact that Naveen and Anu have focused it on a problem that is so central to the country that we are all from, we absolutely believe that finding a tool whereby we can get help for women within 90 seconds and ensuring that even in the areas where there is no coverage is absolutely going to be a path-breaking approach. I believe that over time it will revolutionize women's safety in many, many developing countries. We also have Rahul and Srujni here at the back, those two guys there, they also were inspired. Their brother is actually the Vision Circle member at XPRIZE, and they will soon be joining the XPRIZE Vision Circle as well. However, they were today were so inspired, they said, we are also going to give $100,000 divided amongst the four teams, irrespective of who wins. So, so we've been following the XPRIZE and uh, the Jane family for a while. They're phenomenal entrepreneurs, and they, what they've been doing here is, is a phenomenal philanthropic goal. Not only able to giving money to solve, let's say, a global problem on women's safety, but using entrepreneurship to really leapfrog, taking that idea and bring it around the world to a billion people. And one of the factors was that, uh, you know, the winner could get all the money, but what happens to the people who had the second, third, and fourth best idea? And oftentimes, uh, competition reaps better results. And we thought that if you'd be able to support as many teams to get the finish line as possible, then the world is better off in, in many ways. I have a winner right here in this envelope here. I mean, thank you so much for your passion and dedication. I saw it in action. I mean, you guys really poured your hearts and soul. And it's not about the winner. It's about all of your solutions. We need everything out there. And the winner is... Leaf Wearables. So, uh, 2012 is when Nirbhaya took place in Delhi. And 2014 is when we, five of us founders, decided that enough is enough. Delhi is still very unsafe. Things are not changing at all. And we got to solve this problem. Three years since, we have been at it. We have launched two previous devices. This is the third one which we took to XPRIZE. And we are not saying we have made the perfect device. But what we are saying is we are at the problem. And we are going to make one mil billion families safe and connected. Thank you. So it's so exciting and it's liberating, you know. And also there's a lot of responsibility to win a million dollar and you have to actually go there and save people. So I hope with the million dollar we can save a billion people. So that's the next aim and we are going to work on it day and night. So the biggest differentiator between the winner and the other team was that they um, that their product worked without a phone. 
and without Wi-Fi. And I think that is extremely crucial because in countries like India, we know that Wi-Fi is not available everywhere, right? There are lots of pockets and areas where we don't have connectivity, where we might not even have access to our phones. And in that time of need, if you have a product which will help you reach out for help, I think it's extremely crucial. Congratulations to everyone involved. It's an incredible uh, project and going to have a great impact on the world. So congratulations to everybody. The whole thought behind making a wearable device that works without internet to make women feel safer is commendable. These devices may not be perfect just yet, but this definitely is a step in the right direction. This is Neha Mahajan from United Nations headquarters here in New York for TV Asia.